Our Sunday spotlight shining on a woman who was once an unwed teenager forced by Catholic nuns to give up her baby for adoption. And this week, she got a chance to share her story with Pope Francis. Nightline anchor Cynthia McFadden was there. Few can make an entrance like a pope, and this pope, Francis, has particular appeal. His every word scrutinized for what it might mean to the world's more than one billion Catholics. But this week at the Vatican, an image more powerful than words. I am very honored to meet you. 80-year-old Philomena Lee, once shamed by the church for having a baby out of wedlock, was invited by the Vatican to meet and shake hands with Pope Francis. As the two committed Catholics locked eyes. Holy Father, it's a pleasure to meet you. We were there for this incredible moment in history. Philomena's story, now an Oscar nominated film. I've kept what happened to me buried away for 50 years. Did you take your knickers down? I was frightened out of my life when she said, You're going to have a baby. You literally didn't know how you were going to deliver the baby. No, indeed, no. And it was a very bad birth, it was a breech birth. No! Put my baby in the ground. The nuns thought I was going to die. No medicine. No medicine whatsoever. After you'd had your baby, you had to stay in the abbey for four years in order to repay the sisters for taking you in. Was that a miserable job? <sighs> was it just? But then we just got on with it because we thought, well, we've committed a sin having a baby out of wedlock, as we were told. <laughs> There are an estimated 60,000 women in Ireland who had babies under such circumstances over the past 60 or so years, forced to give them up, many to U.S. families, often for a price. Anthony! One day, without warning, her three-year-old son Anthony was taken away to America. I did not abandon my child. Like thousands of other mothers and sons, Philomena and her son tried to find one another, but the nuns refused to help. To this day, adoption records in Ireland still remain largely closed. All of which makes what happened at the Vatican this week even more amazing. The Vatican arranged a highly unusual screening of the movie, and the Pope sent one of his top personal aides. Is your presence here today a signal mm -hmm. from, the, from the church, from the Pope? Of course. Uh, the Pope, uh, he knows that I'm here. Do you see the, the Pope in intervening in some way to make the records available? Think, you do think I so? Think, think. <laughs> also at the screening, a high-ranking bishop, friends with the Archbishop of Dublin. Maybe you all have to make some phone calls. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I, can, I can call. Dramatic statements in a place where nothing is said by accident. For this week, Cynthia McFadden, ABC News, Vatican City. Our thanks to Cynthia and some welcome news, no deaths of service members in Afghanistan this week. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight and have a great day.